Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to take a look at this awesome weight converter app. It's a simple and convenient tool that allows you to convert weight measurements between kilograms, pounds and ounces. This is an excellent project for JavaScript beginners. So let's dive right into it. We begin with the HTML code. First we have a div element with a class wrapper. This is used to center the weight converter on the page and give it a nice layout. Inside the wrapper we have another div element called container. This container holds all the elements of our weight converter. The most prominent element inside the container is the H2 heading tag with the text weight converter. Next we have three sets of elements with separate div elements. Each with the class input wrapper. These are used to group a label and an input field together. The first input wrapper represents kilogram. It contains label tag with the text kilogram and an input tag with the type attribute set to number and id attribute set to kg. The initial value of input field is set to 10 using the value attribute. Users can modify this value to convert it to pounds or ounces. Similarly, the second input wrapper represents pounds. It has a label with the text pounds, an input field with the type attribute set to number and the id attribute set to lb. Users can enter a value in this field to convert it to kilogram or ounces. Lastly, the third input wrapper represents ounces. It consists of label with the text ounces and input field with the type attribute set to number and the id attribute set to o's users can enter a value in this field to convert it to kilogram or pounds meanwhile as you code with me don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video Now, as you know, presentation is everything, so let's dive into the styling details. The first block of CSS code sets some general styles using the universal selector. It sets the padding and margin to zero, the box sizing to border box, and the font family to warp pins with the fallback font of sans serif. These styles ensure a consistent and clean layout across different browsers. Next, we have a rule for body element. It sets the background color to vibrant blue shade. This gives our weight converter a visu visually appealing backdrop. Moving on, we have styles for the wrapper class. This class represents the outer container of our weight converter. It sets the width to 90% of the viewport width, 90VW, which allows the converter to adjust to different screen sizes. It also positions the container absolutely in the middle of the screen using the transform and the left top properties. The container class styles the inner container of our weight converter. It sets the background color to white, giving it a clean and modern look. The width is set to 100% to ensure it fills the available space within the wrapper. The padding property adds space around the content, making it more visually appealing. Additionally, a subtle box shadow is applied to give the container a slight elevation effect. The border radius property gives the container rounded corners.
the h2 rule styles the heading tag used for the converter title it sets the font size to 2em making it larger and more prominent the text align property centers the title horizontally the margin bottom property adds some space below the title and the color is set to dark blue for a contrasting effect Next, we have styles for the input elements within the input wrapper class. It sets the display to block, making the input fill the width of their container. The width is set to hundred percent, ensuring they occupy the full available space. The font size is set to one point three em, slightly larger than the default size. Padding is added to give the input some breathing space, and a border is applied with a light gray color. the border radius property adds a slight curve to the input corners and the color property sets the text color to a dark blue The label rule styles the label associated with the input fields. The display is set to block, making the labels appear on separate lines. Font size is defined as 1.1 em, making them slightly smaller than the input fields. The font weight property sets the label to bold style, and the color is set to the same dark blue color as before. Lastly we have a rule that targets input fields within the input wrapper elements except for the last child this rule adds some vertical spacing between the input fields using the margin bottom property this ensures a visually appealing separation between the input fields Additionally we have a media query that applies specific styles for the screens with maximum width of 450 pixels in this case the font size of the wrapper class is reduced to 14 pixels or 0.9 em to improve the readability on smaller screens the padding of the container class is also reduced to 1.5 em creating a more compact layout Moving on to JavaScript. First, we have three variables: kgref, lbref, and usref. These variables are used to store references to specific HTML elements using the getElementById function. The elements are identified by their respective IDs. kg lb and us these elements are input fields in our weight converter form next we have three functions convert from kg convert from lb and convert from us these functions are responsible for performing the conversion calculations based on the user input let's start with convert from kg inside this function we first retrieve the value entered in the kg ref input field using the value property we store this value in the variable called kg next we perform conversion calculations the lb ref dot value line calculates the equivalent weight in pounds by multiplying the value of kg by 2.205 the two fixed two method 
is used to round the result to two decimal places. Similarly, usref dot value line calculates the equivalent weight in ounces by multiplying the value of kg by 35.274. Again, we use the two fix to round the result to two decimal places. The convert from LB and convert from OOS functions work in a similar way. They retrieve the values from the respective input fields, perform necessary conversion calculations and update the values of the two other input fields accordingly. To ensure that these conversions functions are called at the right time, we use event listeners. Let us take a look at them further in the code. The event listener method is used to listen for the input event on each input field. When the event is triggered, that is when the user types or changes the value in an input field, the corresponding conversion function is called. Additionally, we have an in event listener attached to the window object. The load event is triggered when the web page finishes loading. In this case, when the event is fired, we call the convert from kg function. This ensures that the, when the page loads, the initial conversion from kilograms to pounds and ounces is performed based on the default values in the kg ref input field. And that's the JavaScript magic behind our weight converter. The code enables real-time conversion as a user enters value in any of the input fields. Now isn't that awesome? I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my YouTube channel for more coding tutorials. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Until next time, happy coding!